time, our nominees brought to you by the law offices of Blaine Barrio. Seth, why don't you start us off? Yeah, our first play coming from Wednesday. We have these highlights. It, it's his Adelcom Caleb Mano finds Hayden Frederick in the back of the end zone, a diving touchdown catch. Yeah, we'll have those highlights in a moment. We go to Turlings for our second one. Caden Boulay to Julian Guy on the sideline. A great sideline grab from the guy. It's Julian Guy. And our final play coming from Eunice. That's a and nifty play. Notre Dame. This is a nifty one. Aiden Mouton loses it. Wiley Venable picks the ball up and takes it to the house for the scoop and score. So remember, you can vote on our play of the week at KTC.com after the show. You have until 8 on Sunday to vote. I'll have your winner that night on KTC's News at 10. Well, one final block here on Friday Night Football. Let's get to those Delcom highlights. We just promised the Panthers playing Wednesday and in need of a win to earn a playoff spot. Yeah, the Panthers entered the night ranked 30th in 2A. A win would go a long way towards getting them into the postseason for the first time since 2016. Homer Christian on the road and down a score midway through the first. Panthers up 13 to 7. Eli LeBlanc takes the handoff and breaks off the right side, going as far as he can down the sideline for the first down and then a big gain by the freshman setting up Noah Broussard to shake off a few defenders and dive into the end zone for the touchdown. Panthers go up 20 to 7 as he carries a couple defenders in there with him. Second quarter, Delcom now up 20. Broussard gets lit up in the backfield, a big hit for the Warriors, but on that same the drive, the Panthers would make them pay when Caleb Minot drops back and hangs this one perfectly to Hayden Frederick. Hmm, where have we seen that one before? <laughs> it's another touchdown and Delcom. That's a great continues. pass and catch. Great pass and catch. And Delcom continues to put all up points, outscoring Homa 54 to 13. Finally, Bazile at number three, Oberlin. Don't sleep on this game. Tigers unbeaten in district play. Bazile up eight to six. Oberlin ball. Uh, Malachi Semyon plunges his way through as the Tigers will take a 12 to eight lead. And in the second, though, Bazile is driving Ethan Bazinet, who Gives the Bearcats the go-ahead score. PAT is good, so Bazile up 15 to 12. Under a minute left until the break. Oberlin takes back the lead after Simeon gets another rushing touchdown. So Tigers go up 18-15. You thought that might be it for the opening half, but it is not, folks. 18 seconds to go until halftime. Bazile in scoring position. Cole Manuel rolls out and finds Justin Smith. Bazile taking a 21-18 lead into the break, and they win 42-25. Taking a look at some other scores, Montgomery over Gaydon 66-42, and it's Catholic of New Iberia beating Franklin 49-32. And then tomorrow, it's Northwest and Iota. That's a 2 o'clock kickoff there at Iota. Let's take stock quickly at our teams on the bubble. In 4A, Northside loses pretty badly tonight. All postseason hopes appear dissolved. Brobridge wins, uh, possibly extending their playoff streak. North Vermillion did not play. Remember, they take 32 in most non-select classifications. And in 3A, Abbeville with a likely clinching win last night while Patterson lost. Iota and Northwest, of course, play tomorrow. Bill Platt did not play this week. In 2A, Delcom won Wednesday. West St. Mary did not play. They ranked 32nd. Welsh lost to LCA last night. And in Division 4, only 16 teams get in. Opelousas Catholic won last night. Highland Baptist loses a shootout. And Hanson Memorial did not play. The league's brackets, of course, will come out on Sunday. So headlines of the night. Basile upsets Oberlin. Brobridge extends its streak. Uh, maybe extends its streak, Seth. And then Acadiana controls its destiny. And that is what I want to talk to you about, Seth, right now. Acadiana getting the win and extending uh, its dominance in 5A. Is that the best team? I mean, it's the best team in 5A, but there's always this conversation. Is that the best team here in Acadiana? I know where I stand on this book. I don't know where you well, do. Well, the, the transitive, if you go transitive wins, right? Catholic beat Acadiana, STM beat Catholic. There you go. You know what I mean? But uh, Transitive I, property. Your transitive science property, teacher will be very happy. You know, but I, I would say... I would like to see it, right? Oh like my a, gosh, like, I would you, like to see wouldn't it. Wouldn't you love to see it? We've uh, had so many great matchups. How come we couldn't get I, I that know, one this we, year? We need to, Let's make that happen. We need to work on that. We're, Coach we're, Hightower, McCullough, if you're yeah, listening. Yeah, please get if on the you're line. Listening. For future years. For future years, but, of course. Um, but I mean, this team is is clearly legitimate. You know, you talk about, I mean, this is a team that, you know, as we're watching Theos Figaro take it in, they lost their defensive MVP from yeah. that district to another team in the district. 
and they really haven't missed um, too much of a beat on defense. Um, on offense, they're, they're able to, uh, to put up points. Uh, I think it's a three-headed monster in that backfield. Maybe there's even a fourth. You know, and so, I mean, you talk about Acadiana, uh, it, it's, it's them and STM. Yeah, and I think this was such, you know, there's a lot to say still about Lafayette. They played a very good game. They've had Absolutely. a very respectful let's, season. Let's be honest about it. 34 to 12, a lot of years, that wouldn't be the case. I no. know 22 points is not something that you're necessarily going to go home and um, pop a root beer over. But, I mean, this is a decent showing of just how much they have improved and just how much they're not going away. This is only year no. one for Coach Cedric Figaro. So, I mean, you talk about what can this be in the future? What can he build this to? It's a very exciting time if you're a Lions fan. He's built a really good defense very, very quickly. Now, his son certainly he helps. Certainly helps. He helps. But the offense going through a transition, you know, they're not the spread. They're not throwing the ball all around the yard. They're running the ball more. They're still trying to figure out that offense. They've come a long way already this year. I look forward to seeing what the Lions can do as the season goes on. But Acadiana remains one of the best teams in all of Louisiana. That, of course, is a wrap here on Friday Night Football, Seth. When we come back next week, it's win or go home. Yes, Someone sir. cue Jim Mora. Yes, Someone. sir. Playoffs? Playoffs? I heard it. I heard it. Playoffs? It's postseason football on Black Friday for Seth Lewis, Brianna Aldridge, and the entire KTC. I'm Andrew Clay. Thanks for watching.